Well, Thomas, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, I'm James McKissick. I'm president of USTA South Carolina, and I'm here to present you with the 2020 Official of the Year Award. Thomas, you are such a proven volunteer over the years, and you've proven to be a dedicated and exemplary official for the state of South Carolina and the Southern section. In 2020, you were one of the first people to reach out to USTA South Carolina during the suspension period to ask how you could offer help on and off the court. You volunteered your time to give input on changes to competitive structure and officials policies, as well as working as an official at multiple tournaments when the suspension was lifted. You are known to be dependable, hardworking, fair, efficient, and as an official and as a USTA board member. So I can't be more excited to present you with the 2020 Official of the Year Award from USTA South Carolina. So congratulations. Thank you, James. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of people have had some very nice things to say about me. I appreciate that. Well, you it's all well deserved. So tell me, what is it like being an official during this COVID-19? I mean, I, we certainly know what it's like on the board and um, all of the challenges we face, but being on the front lines, what are your impressions? I tell you, there was so much uncertainty. Uh, that was the big question is like, what are we going to do? You know, uh, I remember when we had a board meeting, I think when everything got canceled, I was actually working as a referee at a tournament at Rockbridge. Uh, I had to leave my tournament to come for the board meeting. And that's when everything really started talking about, I guess, as like the second week in March. So there's just been so much uncertainty with, you know, when we're getting back. Uh, I know I've worked several tournaments that got rescheduled. So it's always a challenge, you know, uh, am I going to work this weekend? And then I've got a few tournaments I've worked at for the past few years. And it, it's tough when all of a sudden something gets rescheduled. And now all of a sudden I got a tournament at the same time as a board meeting. I know Ernie James worked through that. And uh, it, it was really weird getting back out to a tournament in Florence. And, you know, I, I've got my sort of script I like to talk over with the players in the pre-match. And all right, start from scratch. You know, we talk about, okay, here's two cans of balls. You uh, mark your name on this one, mark your name on this one. Uh, tap rackets when it's over. Don't get close to each other on changeovers. Uh, but I, I remember right. we um, had good guidance from Artie James, sort of that first time yeah. in the back. Yeah. It's like, you know, things are a little different, but we want you to have a good time, but leave here healthy. So mm -hmm. it was quite the adjustment. Um, that first few tournaments back. Well, uh, I know that you, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. And the other thing is also, it's been a challenge with learning new technology. I know the Southern section was great in getting us to, uh, working with a outside developer and getting the match tennis app so we can do a virtual desk. And then all of a sudden, you know, all the officials and uh, people that are running tournament desks were just drinking from a fountain. I was like, oh, wow, we've got to learn something new and learn it quick. But I tell you, after doing that a couple of times, it's really great just not having players have to stand around the tournament desk and be so it's much easier to uh, practice social distancing and all the things that happen outside the court. Of course, everybody knows that tennis is a great activity for social distancing when we're on the court, but we had to get together and figure out ways we could keep everybody safe and healthy when they're getting ready to play or after they finish playing. Good deal. So that match app really has been an effective tool this year, hasn't it? Yes, I used it three weekends in a row, and it's incredible. It's like there are very few times we had to actually talk face to face. I mean, obviously we enjoy talking because that's officials, and you know we enjoy the social interaction with the players. But at the same time, it's it's a good thing that we don't have to have them in crowds. It's like we can have a more controlled environment, we can space out, you know, we could talk to players, we do our pre-match conference and, you know, still maintain our six feet distancing, but the, mm -hmm. the app really helped uh, avoid the situations where people would have close contact. Good deal. Well, tell me, Thomas, why is it that you became an official in the first place and what drives you to continue to practice that for us? For well, I, I think back, uh, it started with be, being a parent. Is like, right. honestly, the whole reason I got into tennis is my son started playing. He enjoyed it, uh, started playing team tennis and started doing tournaments. So I was taking the sons of tournaments, watching him, watching the officials and every, 
a uh, few times I just started talking to officials, just, you know, what it's like, you know, they're people too. And uh, a yeah. couple of the officials mentioned, yeah, they were really short. Uh, I knew if I talked to a few are uh, short in numbers and a, a few of them said, yeah, they were getting ready to retire. So, and they said, oh yeah, we'd love to have people. And uh, also from my background, I actually officiated high school basketball uh, a mm-hmm. few years ago, but sort of, I had it sort of a inclination toward doing that and then they said hey they they needed help and i was hoping that was way i could help out well fabulous i hope your children are still playing tennis they are yeah my son is a high school senior uh he doesn't do tournaments as much but he he loves his high school team and uh my daughter has also played high school tennis also and they had to put up with me for a couple years i actually helped coach them Uh (laughs) their early years at the high school close to us a good deal. Are there any memories that you want to share with us about uh, being an official? Any anything that stands out? Um, I, I tell you, this this is the first year I've sort of been on the other side of uh, other side of helping others uh, as far as mentoring. Uh, I haven't been uh, been an official maybe about three years uh, now. I like to think I've made up for lost time. I've <laughs> easily work 15 or 20 tournaments a year uh, when we work a full schedule. But this is the first time it was fun to, I got to mentor two roving umpires. Uh, One of them is still uh, already started working tournaments this summer. And then I also got to help uh, mentor a referee so that he could referee, uh, be a referee on his own. So I kind of enjoy sort of passing the torch. I remember what it was like my first couple of tournaments and now I got to be on the other end. And I also think back, it was interesting starting. Uh, I went to the referee workshop hosted by USTA Columbia. Uh, I believe Donna Bailey came in and taught a wonderful teacher. And I remember I was there and everybody was going around the room talking about, okay, well, how much experience do you have? And, you know, people are saying, oh yeah, we're doing it three, four, five, ten 10 years. You know, they do quite a few tournaments a year. And they got to me as like, well, I've never been a referee yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to learn. So it was great having the perspective of people there. It's like, okay, they can sort of help me through it. I remember my first couple of tournaments, I really appreciate James Hart's help um, when he was in that role for USGA South Carolina. So I appreciate all the people that sort of prepared me for my first tournament. And now I, I'm enjoying sort of, I guess, passing the torch, not that I'm ready to hang it up or anything, but uh, I enjoy sort of helping bring new officials on. Well, that's fabulous. That's what it's all about. You know, your enthusiasm and passion for tennis are just exemplary. And I just can't think of anybody more deserving of the official of the year award. So once again, congratulations, Thomas. Thank you, James. Good to talk to you. Good to be with you remotely. (laughs) 